I wasn't always a superhero, but a lot like getting diarrhea on the first date you've been on in 10 years, shit happens. These days, all I have to keep me sane is a bottle of Daniel Jack's, some nudie magazines, and a picture of a plastic duck. Actually, it might be a goose. I'm not really sure. I can dodge bullets, I can lift buildings, and I can't even fly when I'm sober enough. But it still takes me nearly six hours to sober up. Talk about a bag of gorilla dicks. I guess it's like my toaster used to say, the hair of the dog is better than the horns of a giraffe. Which is weird because giraffes don't have horns and I never owned a toaster. Chuck Nolan is live on the scene in the Channel 4 Skycopter, reporting live. Thanks, Maggie. Like Maggie said, I'm here live in the Skycopter, watching as this chase takes place. From what myself and the blind pilot are seeing, the driver of the armored truck seems to be firing some sort of large capacity gun out of the back of the truck. I'm guessing it's something in the 50 caliber range, or possibly even a slingshot. Initial reports are that the Night City Bank was robbed this morning, and though the police managed to kill one of the men by death, the other two men escaped in this armored transport vehicle, and they've been evading the police ever since. Would you say that the police are doing a good job of closing in on the perps? Honestly, Maggie, the police are about as close to catching these guys as a nun is to catching herpes. Honestly, I don't know how the police are going to bring this chase to an end. Unless these guys run out of gas or stop for tacos, I'd say the police have their hands full. Damn it, I can't seem to shake these assholes. Well, we better do something soon, or else we'll be in county lockup by midnight, and we'll be some of bitches by 1 a.m. Look, I'm doing all I can here, okay? These dick pickles weren't so close to us. I'd pull over and let you try to do better. I'm not trying to say you're driving poorly. I'm merely saying that if there was an award for the worst possible driver in the world, it would go to you, and it would be given to you by Dale Earnhardt. I really hope that works, because the last thing I need is another strike on my record. Just last week I was pulled over for speeding through a church. How the hell does somebody speed through a church? Why were you driving through a church to begin with? Alright people, calm down. Let's calm down now everyone so I can speak. Please everyone, be calm. If you'll allow me to explain the situation, then I think you'll understand the events of today. What everyone, shut the hell up already! As many of you know, an armored transport vehicle was stolen this morning which led to a high-speed chase throughout Night City. Though several officers were injured, there were no civilian casualties. Our officers were trying to lead the drivers into a trap that we had set up on the 93rd Street Bridge, but before we could stop the truck, the vigilante known as Rancoon intervened and stopped the truck, killing both passengers. Well, from what I understand, Rancoon is a good guy and trying to stop the corruption in the city. Well, explain that to the road cone that he knocked over and just left to lay on the ground. 
Maybe that road cone has kids or even a wife that he must now give an explanation to as for why he's on the ground. It's probably one of the most difficult things he'll ever have to do as a man. But that's just a road cone, Chief. I doubt it cares at all. In fact, it's probably just watching television right now and drinking margaritas. Well, all the same. From this moment on, our task force will hunt and capture the Rancoon and bring him to justice. We cannot have such a lack of considerations for the road cones in this city. It is injustice and above all else, just plain wrong. Shouldn't you focus your manpower on rebuilding the buildings Radcoon destroyed in the process of stopping the armored truck and pay less attention to the road cone? This is why you members of the media will never understand the world for how it looks beyond your cameras and fancy microphones. You only see chaos and destruction. But what you don't see is that road cone when he has to drop off his children at a daycare and his son won't even look him in the eyes. How's a man supposed to live with himself when his own child won't look him in the eyes? I don't think road cones have eyes, nor do they have children. From that comment alone, I can tell that you've never seen the film Titanic. How is that relevant at all? No more questions at this time. Sir, do you have any illegal drugs or any fluids over four ounces? No. I can pat you down. Why? Is it because I have giant hands? No, it's just a random security check, sir. What the hell? Uh, hello? Is this the raccoon that helped stop the armored truck this morning? It might be. Seriously, I need to know if it is or not because the last number I called was wrong and I got some bakery and in the process of trying to ascertain information on the raccoon, I somehow ordered 200 loaves of potato bread. Well, I'm not really sure. You see, I fell asleep last night in the sewer, and when I woke up this morning, I was sleeping in my toilet. Uh, upon waking, I realized I had pieces of metal all through my hair, and I vaguely recall what I thought was a dream about getting hit by a truck and maybe flying through a woman's restroom. Well then, it is you. It's so good to finally speak to you. Do I know you? Let's just say I'm a friend and admirer. How are you calling me through my shoe? I mean, I could see if you were calling me on an umbrella, but this shoe call makes no sense to me. That's not important right now. What is important is that you lay low for a while so that the new police chief and his task force can't find you. And I can help with that. I didn't know the police were after me. Did I get drunk and take a dump in the mayor's jacuzzi again? No, the police are after you because they think you're a vigilante. Why would you want to help me? Because you're a hero and Night City needs more good guys. It's imperative that we get you to safety. I need you to meet me at the 35th Street Bridge. If you can't find it, use GPS. And if GPS doesn't work, ask one of your fire hydrants. They know everything. I can't believe he didn't realize it was me! <laughs> what has that stupid raccoon got himself into this time? Alright guys, I want a full sleep with this warehouse complete from top to bottom. Imagine this warehouse is your prom date and she's giving you a full invitation to her goodies. I expect you to take her by the hand, throw her on the bed, and lead an exploration that will make Lois and Clark blush. I expect you to leave no stone unturned and no button unbuttoned. And by the time this is over, I want this bitch calling her friends and telling them that you did things to her that the internet hasn't even heard of yet. You guys are going to give me some privacy. Could one of you at least toss me a sock so I can wipe? Hey, baby. Are you looking for a good time? No, thanks. I don't want herpes.
It's you, isn't it? You're the raccoon that stopped that truck that was armored, aren't you? Did someone just ask me if I'm a duck farmer? You've really opened up a lot of eyes with that stunt of yours. Hey, what I do on Thursdays at the drag bar is my own prerogative, okay? It's no one else's concern if I want to put on a blonde wig and call myself Tammy Hot Lips. What are you talking about? You know, I'm not really sure. Well, hell with this! If I can't have the superpowers, no one can! Oh crap. This doesn't look good. Who the hell are you? I am the Red Panda, and I'm also your brother. My, my! There's two of them! Well, if I can't have Raccoon, this Red Panda guy will do just as well! Pointless to struggle. What is going on? Well, you see, the doctor figured out the most superpowers come from the left hemisphere of the brain, and since there's no way to directly extract the mutated DNA from the brain without killing you, this machine is going to extract the left hemisphere of your brain entirely. You still have a chance to live after the procedure is complete. So, the last time I checked, I sort of need both sides of my brain to live. Well, once your brain is extracted, the machine will replace the half of your brain that we took with a jellyfish. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help me much. In fact, I'm pretty sure that will kill me too. Don't be so negative. Besides, the operation was successful when we tried on a lawnmower. <laughs> Please, don't do this. I beg of you. Sorry, friend, but if you're looking for mercy, you've come to the wrong place. No. no. You'll find the son of a bitch that did this to you. I give you my word. Excuse me, Mr. President, but could you please help me get home? You see, a coyote ate my mother, and I'm almost certain the light bulbs are out to get me. Ah, I wonder if this means dinner's done. Man, I really could go for some pancakes right now. <laughs> 